Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So companies that make pedals and guitar effects have been sort of in an arms race for a while now. They keep trying to outdo each other. They keep trying to create a more powerful effects processor that can crush the competition. Everybody's trying to get more capability, more features, more things that their effects processor can do. But I think we might be reaching the point of mutually assured sonic destruction because I just got sent this unit right here from Hot Tone. This is the Impero 2 Stage Triple Core Effects Processor, and this is an absolute effects monster. Did you guys ever see the movie Contact, based on the book by Carl Sagan, where we get sent a message from aliens, and they teach us how to build this, like, interdimensional gateway? Well, this thing is like if we got a pedal board from aliens and they give us instructions on how to build an incredibly sick guitar tone. Now look guys, Hot Tone has made a lot of effects units in the past and in general they make really good sounding, very feature heavy units that can do a whole lot of stuff all in one unit. Now this thing here of course can do everything that all the other units can do. These things have hundreds of effects, tons of amp models, cabinet simulation, IRs, an audio interface, a looper, stereo signal chains, software-based patch editing, a metronome, a tuner. I could go on and on and on. What makes this unit different from all the other ones is that in addition to supporting guitar, bass, and synth instruments, this one also does vocal processing. And this has two totally independent signal chains on it, including two inputs and two outputs, and you can run them separately. So you can run your, do all your vocal processing through one chain and then still run your guitar and get your own guitar tone through the other signal chain. So if you are like a singer-songwriter type or if you're just a performer that plays and sings at the same time, this is pretty much the ultimate tool for you. Now we'll get into all the sounds in just a second here, but perhaps the coolest feature is this little button right here, which locks all of your controls. That way, if one of your band members, while you're performing, comes over and they're like, hey, look at all the pretty lights. Oh, let me just change all these. They're not gonna mess up any of your settings. Okay, guys, now all of that being said, typically when I review one of these, I go through the presets and I tweak a few things and I talk about the sounds and how easy or not easy it is to use. But this time what I've done is I've built my own tone from the ground up and I'm basically going for like a super high gain metal shred guitar tone, kind of like the dream tone that I hear in my head when I'm fantasizing about blowing the roof off the local stadium. So I'm gonna let you hear that tone first and also some of the other great tones that we can get out of the unit. And then I'm gonna go through how I made that tone and the different ingredients in it and the different things that we can get out of this unit to create that tone. Okay, so let's plug this back in. Let's hear the tones first, and then we'll talk about it. Now, of course, guys, real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitar gear and staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and for some bizarre reason you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. I'm, of course, I'm using my HM, my Fender HM Strat for this, and let's listen to my killer shred tone first, and then we'll get into some other stuff, and then we'll talk about it. Let's check it out. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so let's go back and look at this tone that I created from the ground up. So I'm calling this the max power tone. And let's just go through the different sort of ingredients in this. And first, let's start with the amplifier that I'm using. Okay guys, so here's the unit right here. And this is the patch that I've created. I'm calling it max power. And what I like to do is we are in patch mode right now. And I like to switch this over to stomp mode. So we hit the S, it says stomp. Now we can see all of the individual effects and we can see the signal chain. So out, uh, sorry, in here, and then it goes this direction and then we've got the out. So the amp I'm using, this is in their high gain section, the Dizzle VH Plus S. Uh, Dizzle obviously based off of Diesel, but they can't use the name for trademark reasons. But that's, of course, you know, German-made, super high-gain, really nice amplifier. And then I've got all my parameters for the amplifier down at the bottom here. Gain, presence, master, bass, middle, treble, and so forth. So if you look at my settings here, I've got gain at 40. I've got that a little low because I'm running an overdrive pedal. Presence is 50. Master is 70. Bass at 80 middle at 55, treble 34. The thing is, is when you run the overdrive pedal in front of this amplifier, this amplifier is a pretty strong mid-range amp. I wanted to make sure I had a lot of low end power still. So I've got the bass cranked up, treble turned down. So you've got the amp. Now another big key to this is that I'm boosting the front of the amp with an overdrive pedal. So let's look at that. Now let's go back here and look at the drive. So I've got the drive uh, going into the amplifier. This is the yellow drive, which is, uh, my understanding is my favorite overdrive pedal, which is the Boss Super Overdrive. And if you look at my settings for that, I've got gain at 20 and the volume at 70. So this is the classic setup of boosting an, an amplifier. So you've got kind of medium gain on the amplifier and then the volume turned up really high on the pedal. So you're boosting the front end of the amplifier. And that's, that's the sound that I really, really love. 
Okay, so the other thing I want to go over here is the delay that I'm using on this effect. And some people like reverb, some people like delay when it comes to ambience, right? Creating space for the tone. I prefer delay, but let's, let's take a look at this. I've got this on a stereo digital delay. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but the thing is, we've got all these different delays to choose from. Analog delays, stereo delays, uh, tape delays, ping pong, sweep. Uh, you know, ring delay, reverse delay, all kinds of stuff. And like I said, I've got a digital delay set up in stereo. I've got all the parameters down here. I've got the mix at 25, uh, like a quarter note delay, and then uh, 40 on the feedback. Uh, the ring out is at 60, about 62%. Spread, that's for the stereo effect, 100%, so it's panned totally. And then the overall level is 50%. Okay, so the last thing that's really key about this is the cabinet, you know, because this is all, you know, it's amp simulation and cabinet simulation. One of the amazing things about this unit is how detailed you can get in terms of the editing. And as an example, you know, the cabinet is a great example because not only are you choosing the cabinet and the number of speakers and so forth, but you can even choose the type of microphone that you're using to mic it, obviously this is all simulated, uh, the type of microphone and the position of the microphone. And it's not like one or two choices, but you've got like a bunch of different choices. So anyway, let's look at the, the cabinet uh, simulation here in this tone. So obviously a huge amount of tone comes from the amp, but the cabinet simulation uh, in this unit is really, really powerful. So first of all, we've got all these different options to go through here. We've got 1x12s, 2x12s, uh, you know, 10 inch speakers, all kinds of stuff. And the one I'm using here is the Rector 2x12, the C version. And then look at these parameters down here. Dynamic 57, you can choose the mic type. And look at this, you can scroll through all these different options, ribbon mics, condenser mics, uh, mixes of different mics. And I'm just using a basic, you know, it's like a Shure 57. Uh, and then the mic position, I've got it on the cap edge which is like towards the center of the speaker, but you've got all these different options. Near, you know, center, near center, cap edge, cone, near edge of the cone, uh, and then the very edge. And obviously that's gonna, that's gonna change the sound quite a bit. Uh, and then the overall volume, and then we've got a low cut and a high cut. Uh, those are both off here. And that's really the final piece to my tone there. Now, I said earlier, I've got the wah pedal turned on. That's their magic wah. Uh, and then for dynamics, I just have a gate on here, just a noise gate to, you know, get rid of any noise and stuff. And honestly, with the overdrive pedal turned up that high, if you were really doing this with a traditional amplifier, you would run into a lot of noise. So having the noise gate on there in a unit like this takes care of all that stuff. So the tone all together is just the dynamic section, which is just that gate, the wah pedal first, the overdrive pedal, the amp, the cabinet, and then finally the delay. And I built that from the ground up. You know, one last thing I wanna uh, mention here is with the expression pedal. Uh, you can use it as an expression pedal. You can also use it as a foot switch, which this unit has a different plug-in for the foot switch. And again, you can assign it to do different things, but something that's kind of important here, uh, this takes a TRS cable, TRS I should say, it's basically like a stereo quarter inch cable. So if you're using like a regular, a regular instrument cable, you see that, you see the difference there? Uh, it's not gonna work. So just make sure you have a TRS cable to run the expression pedal. Now the other thing I should mention here is for the wah pedal, I've got the external expression pedal hooked up. And this is hooked up, the, uh, the pedal goes into uh, these expression, there's two expression jacks right here. It goes into number one. That way I can use the pedal to, you know, obviously run the wah effect there. And the cool thing about this is with the expression pedal, it doesn't just run like the wah or the volume, but you can go in here uh, and, whoops, and you can go to the pedal section and you can assign the expression pedals to do different things. And you can even 
you know, you've got multiple targets on here that the expression pedal kind of points to. So you can have one expression pedal run a bunch of different parameters within the effects, which is really cool. I'm just using it uh, in a pretty basic way just to run my, my magic wah pedal. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much the, the tone that I came up with. That's all the different ingredients. And hopefully that gives you an example of what it is like to build a tone from the ground up on one of these units and the level of control you have over the tone. Now, there's a couple other things I want to talk about here. Um, one of them is that you might notice that I'm using a separate, uh, let me unplug this, a separate expression pedal. Now, this is also from Hot Tone, also from the Ampero line. It's the Ampero 2 Press, and you can use it as a foot switch and also an expression pedal. But one thing to keep in mind here is that this is sold separately. It doesn't automatically come with the main effects unit. So the unit, um, this does not have an expression pedal on its own. And honestly, I kind of wish it did because there's a lot of expression pedal stuff that this board is designed to use, not just wahs and volume pedals, but you know, you can assign the expression pedal to do a whole bunch of different things, adjust different parameters, like you can have it change the mix control of the delay or the speed of the, the, the delay at different times, all kinds of stuff. And to me, it's, it's a little weird to have so much capability using an expression pedal, but the unit itself doesn't actually have an expression pedal with it. Also, the other issue is the price. This expression pedal here costs about $80. So to get these together, you're adding you know, $80 to your overall price. And that really brings us to the second issue that I want to talk about. This effects unit is from the future and the price is also from the future. Uh, this thing costs like $699, 700 bucks for this unit right here. And if you're, you know, you're getting the unit and the expression pedal, you're, you're up around close to $800. And the thing is, that's a lot of money and it's a big jump from some of the other Hot Tone Ampero products that are around four or $500. Like the Ampero, you know, the, the guitar sort of flagship Ampero product, that board is around $500 and that has a built-in expression pedal. So what's the deal? Like, why would you, why would you want the more expensive unit? It really comes down to, are you just playing your instrument or are you playing your instrument and singing simultaneously? Because remember, this has all of the vocal processing and that totally separate, you know, those independent signal chains where you can run the vocal processing completely separate from your guitar tone processing. So if you are like me, where you're basically an instrumental musician, I'm basically playing guitar all the time, I think the Ampero sort of flagship model, that $500 unit, that one is going to do everything I need it to do when I go and play a show. But if you are that type of musician where you are playing an instrument and singing at the same time, this, this is the one to go for. And the deal is vocal processors can be very, very expensive. And so if you're playing and singing at the same time, you might end up having to buy two separate units and then not just it's you know, double the price or more, you know, more expensive, but also your whole cable management and all that stuff is going to get a lot more complicated. So having it in one unit just simplifies everything. Okay, guys, so I know this was a lot to go through. Thanks for sticking with me, but let me know your thoughts about all this stuff down in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of this unit and also tell me what you thought of that shred guitar tone that I came up with for the demo. And do you sing and play at the same time. Personally, I don't do it because I suck at it. Uh, but let me know down in the comments section below. Okay, guys, down in the video description below, there will be links for everything I was talking about in the video, all this stuff, plus my social media, plus my instructional videos, and I'll even try and put a link for uh, an HM Strat if I can find one. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you very soon.